So this is going to be three sisters of uh, volcanoes. These are in uh, Oregon, and uh, the ground has been swelling up over there. There are three uh, volcanic uh, actively active uh, mountain peaks, and we'll see what the uh, cards have to say. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's such a big help. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So yeah, these volcanoes have been in the news. I mean, I guess you can call them volcanoes, uh, but the ground around, I forget which one of them, hopefully I'll find that out, was started to swell uh, around some of them, and they th predicted it's time for these to blow. So I'm going to tell you what I was able to wiki about the three sisters. So usually what I do is I take the wiki information and I condense it down to something that I can fit into just a, you know, a couple of minutes on this little presentation. But what I'm going to do right now is try to actually read from the wiki uh, as I scan through it. So I hope you'll bear with me. So the three sister volcanoes are closely spaced volcanic peaks in the U.S. state of Oregon. And they are part of the Cas Cascade Volcanic Arc, a segment of the Cascade Range in western northern America, extending from southern British Columbia through Washington and Oregon to northern California. So each uh, is more than 10,000 feet in elevation and they are third fourth and fifth highest peaks in Oregon. Uh, located in the Three Sisters Wilderness at the boundary line of Lane and Deschutes counties and at the Willamette uh, Deschutes National Forest. They are about 10 miles south of the nearest uh, town um, sisters. And uh, diverse uh, species of flora and fauna inhabit the area which is subject to frequent snowfall, occasional rain, and extreme temperature variation between the seasons. And the mountains, particularly the South Sister, are popular des destinations for climbing and scrambling. Now I'm going to sc uh, scooch ahead here so they're often grouped together as one unit. They have their own individual geology and eruptive history. Uh, the northern sister, neither the north sister or the middle sister has erupted in the last 14,000 years. So it's considered likely that either will erupt again. And the south sister erupted about 2,000 years ago and could erupt uh, in the future and threatening life, in, of course, within the region. A satellite imagery detected tectonic uplift near the south sister in 2000. Huh. And the United States Geographical Survey improved monitoring in the immediate uh, area. Sorry I wasn't able to look into the camera, camera very much, but this is a lot uh, down here. So I think that's all I'm going to do. I might throw up a few pictures up there to show you the three sisters, and then we'll do a reading seat. Is anything bad going to happen? Okay, so these are the Book of Toth, Le Livre de Toth, by um, de Talier, whose name is actually, uh, was actually, I Aliette, I think. So this was France. This is back in the mid uh, 1700s. And uh, Book of Toth is uh, the problem. The thing with these cards is that they don't uh, decipher like the typical Rider weight cards do. Rider weight cards. But uh, these are beautiful, but I mean, they're cryptic. So you've got to be comfortable in the divinations you're going to use for these. Um, so I don't use them very much, to tell you the truth. But I thought they'd be good for this. And, of course, this is just a good time to spread them out so you can see the cards, you know, what they look like, uh, and uh, get a feel for what this deck's going to be like in just a minute. And uh, maybe you're going to uh, shoot some of your energy uh, across the uh, airwaves into this reading. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, so these are great cards. I like them. But they are hard to use if you don't use them every day, I think. Okay, three sisters... Volcanoes, Oregon, volcanic activity. So I want to say for that first sister, and I'm sorry I don't know ge geographically how they're referred to individually, so I just have to say for the first sister, uh, what can three cards tell me about that? But first, we have just a minute of meditation. Three sisters, Volcano's first sister. What can three cards tell me about that volcano? One, two, 
and three. Three sisters volcano, the first sister. What can the cards tell me? Okay, so for this first sister, I get to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of swords. Seven of uh, swords is theft and betrayal. Well, that's not a good uh, thing. Uh, second card is the five of pentacles. Five of pentacles being left out in the cold. I like that. Third card for the first sister is the six of wands. And the uh, six of wands is a uh, victory. I think um, we don't, we're not going to have to worry about that first sister. We get uh, Thift and Betrayal um, as, the, as the first card out of the uh, pack. But right in the center, we have uh, Being Left Out in the Cold. I like that for, for this kind of a message because maybe that means that she's not going to be erupting. And uh, with the Six of Wands uh, victory, uh, I'm just going to take that to be our victory that she's not going to erupt. If you get a better interpretation, I'm glad to hear it. Now, the second sister... Let's see what the cards can tell us just generically about the second sister. Three cards. Second sister, one, two, three. Things about those volcanoes, even though they're all part of that uh, Pacific uh, ring, Pacific Northwest, uh, they have apparently separate uh, geological uh, bases. Uh, the signifier card for that second sister is Temperance. Temperance is finding a balance, like that. That's good. Middle card is the um, Page of Swords. So, so the Page is just the very weakest of the court cards, and Swords um, is a power uh, a card. So the weakest of those. And the last card, with well, there's two of Swords having to make a choice. So I think the second sister could be one of the volcanoes that if it were going to go, it could be her, okay? We have uh, a weighing of the two, we have a very weak uh, power, and we have making a choice. So she could be a candidate for eruption. But now let's see the third sister. Third sister, three cards. Third sister, three cards. One, two, three. Three cards for that third sister, that third volcano. First card is the Ten of uh, Pentacles, the Ten of Coins. You know, this is uh, generational. This speaks to family. And if we're talking to them as if they're a family, three sisters, this is generational value. Interesting. Middle card with this, uh, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is Nightmares. And the third card for that is the Fool's Journey, Starting His Journey. I think that's the one. The third sister looks like it could be the one that has the generational wealth. In other words, she's built up over the ages the, uh, the power, the wealth of being able to do this. Uh, this uh, could be a nightmare and the beginning of a journey. Uh, it looks like the third sister might be the one with the second sister in standby and the third sister not involved. So let's just do six cards on um, volcanic eruptions that involve the three sisters uh, in the next, oh, I don't know, 10 years. Volcanic eruptions for those three sisters in the next, I want to say five years to tell you the truth. Volcanic eruptions for those three sisters in the next five years, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Volcanic eruptions for the three sisters in the next five years. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Signifier card. Okay. Oof. So this is death. Signifier. End of a cycle. Could be the end of a quiet cycle. The challenge to that, then, is justice. Okay, in this case, we're talking about some sort of a karmic balance. Okay, the base of this reading then is uh, judgment. Okay, and this is uh, again uh, sticking with that same theme. This is the ultimate in a karmic balance. This is going to happen. The past of this reading uh, with this six of wands is victory. I think this is victory for the explosion of the volcano. In the sky of this reading, uh, is strength. Okay, it's going to be strong. 
And the final card with this Six of Cups is um, remember how things were. This is kind of spooky for me. So the, uh, will there be an eruption in the next five years? Well, we have death as a signifier. The challenge of it is uh, justice, which for me is a karmic balance. And then it's just underscored by this judgment, which is the ultimate in karmic balance. The um, uh, past in this reading uh, with the Six of Wands is victory. Um, that speaks to me of the volcano winning the fight. And then in the sky of this, we have the force or strength. And then the end of this card, of this uh, reading with this Six of Cups is remembering how things were in the past. So yeah, this looks to me like there's going to be something from those three sisters, probably the one that I called number one with backup from number two. Number three may not be involved. Interesting. So that's what I get for the three sisters. Three Sisters Volcanoes. Imagine that. So these peaks are historic, and let's hope they just remain that way for quiet reasons. Let me know what you thought about the cards. A lot of you are so intuitive, and I'm very interested to know how your uh, uh, developing uh, intuitions are coming along. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.